Crank is a ridiculous, absurd, surreal, hilarious movie. I love it. It's basically an action film for fans of action films. The, the plot, the dialogue, the camera work, the special effects, the narrative choices, the music throws everything from the action genre onto the screen over the course of its runtime. Jason Statham stars as Chev Chelios, a hitman in Los Angeles who, at the beginning of the movie, gets injected with some toxic synthetic chemical that threatens to stop his heart, and the only way he can stay alive is to be in constant movement. Over the course of the movie, we see him try and get revenge on the people who did this to him. Statham's character is in almost constant movement, and the camera work and editing throws every trick in the book to get this sense of momentum, rarely staying still for more than a couple of seconds. There's wipes, there's split screens, quick edits, the camera following Statham from behind as he walks around and bouncing in time to his footsteps, close-ups that reframe Statham from the centre to the edge of the frame, shots from behind him, in front of him, from his left and his right, above, below, even a shot from inside a microwave at one point. I don't think I've ever seen a film which has such a great sense of momentum and movement. There's even top-down shots, like in the early Grand Theft Auto games, and Crank is kind of Grand Theft Auto the movie. It definitely indulges in that anti-social wish fulfilment that the Grand Theft Auto games offer. There's this running joke where he constantly bumps into random strangers in a hospital, in the street, wherever he goes. He drives a car through a shopping mall, which ends up in a really funny sight gag that I don't want to spoil. At one point, he steals a taxi by getting other people to pay attention to the driver of the taxi and... I'm being coy about how he does it because it's wildly politically incorrect and would be even more so in the 2000s when the movie came out. And then, almost as an afterthought actually, there's the action sequences. The one at the apartment block where he's trying to protect his girlfriend is uh, quite funny. There's a sewing machine accident towards the end of the movie. Normally I find that kind of stuff quite gross, but here it's so absurd it's actually really funny. And then... There's Chinatown, where Statham and his girlfriend get down to a different kind of action from the rest of the movie, if you get my meaning. Then there's the music. Like the camera work, it's committed to being as eclectic as possible. There's punk, there's metal, there's rap, there's 80s pop, there's headbanging to Billy Ray Cyrus. This is a movie which, on the outside, looks really dumb, but I think it's actually really smart. It's really clever. It's really well constructed and I'd encourage you to watch it on more than one occasion. It kind of rewards multiple viewings, I think. Thanks for watching.